Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It's time for some adult announcements. As you'll see, or as you won't see, I'm not on camera at the moment. I'm a little bit under the weather and I may need several breaks to get through this video. So by not being on screen, you won't hopefully see edits too much and <clears throat> that will get me through this. So let's have a look at our first title here, which is a Canadian and US only release of The Tin Star. When veteran bounty hunter Morg Hickman rolls into town, he finds the population paralysed by fear. The local sheriff has been killed, leaving the inexperienced Ben Owens to fill the void. With the hope of securing a permanent position, Morg discovers that newly appointed young sheriff is having difficulty facing the provocations of a notorious bully, Bart Bogardus. Morg, a former sheriff, takes upon himself to teach Owen how to assert himself and maintain order. We have got an HD Blu-ray presentation, lossless mono audio for 2.0 stereo and 5.1 surround audio, English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, brand new audio commentary by film historian Tony Roan, Apprentice and Master, a brand new appreciation of the film by author and critic Neil Sinyard, Beyond the Score, a brand new interview with Peter Bernstein, son of Ermer Bernstein, on his father's timeless musical mastery. Theatrical trailer, image gallery, reversible sleeve, double-sided fold-out poster, six art cards and an illustrated booklet. Now, I've never seen The Tin Star. It does sound rather interesting. I like the cast. Uh, being a US and UK only, a US and Canadian only release it's one that I probably won't get but I'd like to check out the film at some point. Next up we have the Scarface Mob. Now again this is a US and Canadian release only. Chicago 1929. Al Capone's ruthless gang of thugs are dealing in bootleg booze in blatant defiance of the prohibition laws and paying off corrupt cop and crooked politicians to stay out of their way. That is, until federal investigator Elliot Ness is tasked with bringing down Capone's criminal empire. To aid him in his task, he assembles a crack team of men he is sure will be incorruptible to identify and sabotage the Capone gang's distilleries. But when Capone Scarface himself gets wind that this operation is under threat, he decides to take matters into his own hands. We've got an HD Blu-ray presentation, uncompressed dual mono 2.0 audio, English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, Gangbusters, a brand new video essay on the film and the career of director Phil Carlson by film critic David Cairns, Philip Kemp on the Scarface Mob, a brand new video essay on the career of Elliot Ness and his depictions of film including the Scarface Mob by Philip Kemp. Theatrical trailer, Gallery of original posters, lobby cards, publicity fossil, uh, and the untouchables, archivist Kelly Lynch, uh, reversible sleeve featuring originally and newly commissioned artwork, six postcard sized lobby cards, double sided fold out poster, illustrated collector's booklet. Next up, we have That Cold Day in the Park, which is a UK only title, a Robert Altman film, one that was previously released as part of the Masters of Cinema series here in the UK already. On a cold and rainy day, Frances Austin, a reclusive virgin sheltered from the sexual revolution happening outside her door, suddenly becomes obsessed with an enigmatic 19 year old boy she sees sitting on a park bench. Inviting him into her apartment to be bathed and fed, Francis' repressed fantasies soon violently boil over into a dangerous and disturbing desire to keep the boy in her clutches, no matter what. This is a two-disc limited edition set with the reversible sleeve and illustrated collector's book. On disc one, we've got an HD Blu-ray presentation, original lossless mono audio, English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, a new commentary by Sam Deegan, isolated music and effects track in lossless mono, Crazy in the Rain, Altman's Vancouver, a newly produced featurette revisiting the locations, archive interview with film critic and historian David Thompson, extended scenes from a pre-release print of the film never seen on home video before, 
over 10 minutes of behind the scenes footage featuring Altman and Dennis from the archives of the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, theatrical trailer and image gallery. Now, the Disc 2 Limited Edition Exclusive is a high-definition Blu-ray presentation of a newly extended 114-minute version of the film, featuring reintegrated previously deleted materials from a surviving pre-release print, which has the lossless mono audio and ugly subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. Altman's always good. Um, the addition of a new cut does offer something new uh, that hasn't been previously released. So yeah, I, I can't speak too much in the film because it's not one that I've watched as yet. Next up, we have Behind Convent Walls, which is a UK release as well. Behind the walls of an apparent serene convent, the zealous abbess tries to in vain to keep in order to prevent her sexually repressed charges from experiencing the sins of the flesh. When the unfortunate young nuns get out of control, the church inflicts cruel punishment for their carnal crimes. This is a new 2K restoration by Arrow Films from the 35mm camera negatives. You get an HD Blu-ray presentation, original lossless English and Italian mono audio options, optional English subtitles for the Italian soundtrack, optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing for the English soundtrack, brand new audio commentary by film critic Justine Smith, Archaic Nuns and the Artistry of Desire, a new appreciation by film scholar Virginia Slavi. Brief Von Paris, a short film by the director. A theatrical trailer, a reversible sleeve and an illustrated booklet. I don't know much about this. I know Arrow previously released a box set of this director's films. I am completely ignorant of the director. I don't have much to say about this one uh, just at the moment. Uh, it doesn't really jump out to me, but I know you knowledgeable people out there will let me know whether it's worth it or not. And then on to the biggest release of this month, which is Basket Case, limited edition 4K UHD. Uh, Dwayne Bradley seems like an ordinary guy. His formerly conjoined twin Belial, on the other hand, is a deformed creature who lives in a wicker basket. Arriving in the Big Apple and taking up a room in a seedy hotel, the pair set about hunting down and butchering the surgeons responsible for their separation. 4K UHD um, has a 4K restoration from the original 16mm negative, uh, HDR10 compatible, uncompressed PCM audio, optional English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, audio comment. Uh, Terry by Frank Henenlotter and star Kevin Van Hendrick. Uh, archival commentary with Henenlotter, the producer and filmmaker. Basket Case 3 and a half, an interview with Dwayne Bradley, short film by Frank Henenlotter. Me and the Bradley Boys, interview with the actor. A brief interview with director Frank Henenlotter. A strange 2017 interview with the director. Seeing Double, The Basket Case Twins, interview with actors Florence and Marilyn Schultz, Blood, Basket and Beyond, an interview with actor Beverly Bonner, The Latvian Connection, feature it, featuring interviews with producer, uh, casting, uh, associate producer, special effects artist and Belial performer. Belial goes to the drive-in, interview with film critic Jewel Bob Briggs. Basket Case at MOMA, footage from the 2017 Restoration premiere. What's in the basket? A feature-length documentary covering all three films in the Basket Case series. In Search of the Hotel Broslin, archival location feature it. The Frision of Fission. Basket Case, conjoined twins and freaks in cinema. Video essay by Travis Crawford. Slash of the Knife. 1976 short made by Henelotter featuring many of the same actors from Basket Case, including optional audio commentary. Basket Case and Slash of the Knife outtakes, Belial's Dream animated short film, extensive image galleries, trailers, reversible sleeve, double-sided poster, and a collector's booklet. But Arrow, being Arrow, there is several versions of this, as usual. There's the 4K UHD, there is the Blu-ray, 
and there is the 4K basket case VHS slipcover version, which is only available from the Arrow website. Very familiar uh, poster art there. So here is the entire month of April. Scarface Mob and Tin Star are Canadian and US only releases, which are pretty great. To be honest, I'd be interested uh, in seeing those films, if not getting them. The Cold Day in the Park, Behind the Covenant Walls and Basket Case, uh, the Blu-rays are all UK only, which is strange. And then um, the 4K UHD is, well, all regions. So I think if I was to pick anything from this lot, it would be Basket Case. I suppose, but I already have a trilogy, a UK release from Second Sight Films a while back. Uh, that day in the park, I you know I have the Eureka disc. If I liked it and I wanted to see the alternative cut, I may pick it up. But I already have a disc, so it looks as if there's nothing that really jumps out at me this month at the moment, which is good, um, saving a little bit more money. But I would love to know if there is anything here that you find as a real standout, anything that you want to see, you want to pick up, anything that you can enlighten me on, please let me know in the comment box below. Thank you for watching this abbreviated version of my announcements, sans me, and I will see you next time, hopefully, when I'm feeling a bit better. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.